Kavita Schnee here with VIP TV. Now we are back at the Micaiah Gallery in Wynwood for the finale of Art Celebration brought to us by Ansa Motorcars to catch up with one of my favorite artists who came all the way across the pond to grace a Ferrari F430 with his work. Ben Levy is his name and creating one of a kind masterpieces is his game. Ben, how long did it take you to do that? I mean, you're not totally finished, right? I've got a few tatting up to do tonight, but um, it took three days all in all. Like, did you have a plan of what you were going to do, or did you just kind of go along with it and how you wanted to do it spontaneously? I had an overall plan, but um, kind of put it together bit by bit, really. I sort of knew what I wanted, but yeah, we sort of wanted to vandalize something beautiful, which we... <laughs> That's not um, vandalism to me, because I, I want that. I mean, I, I, I wanted to, I actually took a picture of it, and I might even put it on my wall. You always had that artistic side, and you went to college, and you studied art, but then you had a family, so you did like the, the nine to Route. How did you transition into making art your full-time thing? I worked as a gas engineer for a long while. Um, I wanted to buy a place, you know, for the family. And I sold my first painting for 700 quid, which is more than what I earned in a week. Five years later, we went full-time. Now we're here. <laughs> How did you get that first sale, though? Did you just paint something and somebody offered it to you when they saw it? No, someone wanted it in, a, funnily enough, a clothes shop, which was pretty random, really. But um, a guy come in and asked if it was for sale. <laughs> sort of made up a price tag. <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, and he, he, yeah, he bought it, which uh, he's probably feeling quite happy now, to be honest. <laughs> I know you made up that price. I mean, where did you get the 700 from? You just thought, oh, let me just try it anyway. Yeah, it was a cheeky gesture, man. <laughs> I'd probably be happy with like two, but yeah, happy days. Yeah, it's good. What was that? Do you, like, what did that painting look like? Actually, I think it was a nude woman on a broomstick. Ooh. Really random, yeah. I think it was a nude woman. Yeah. yeah, off the top of my head, black and white. So at that point, was that like an aha moment where you said, I need to be pursuing my passion full time? Yeah, 100%. It was more than I had in a week. <laughs> <laughs> so then what did you do after that day? What, like, t walk me through the whole process for other artists out there that are going through the whole 9 to 5 and don't think that they can make a hobby their actual you know, career. I made the second bedroom into a studio. And after work, I would go in there and, and, and work on my art. And then I'd spend weekends or, or some weekdays, you know, going out networking, trying to hit the right people. Did you utilize social media at all? Yeah, the last couple of years I did, yeah. I mean, I love following you on Instagram. I love all your posts. They're really cool. You were on that awesome Chase Lounge the other day that you po I posted about. Where was that at? Oh, cool. Yeah, that was a uh, lobby in the Viceroy. Now, you did tell me earlier that this is your first time at Art Basel in Miami. It's a huge deal. You can tell by the traffic. It's normally not this crazy. Um, it's bad weather, but people are still coming out. What do you think it's so far this week in Miami? I've loved Miami. It's, it's, it's going to ruin me if I carry on like we have been. <laughs> do you ever wonder how people live here with the amount of partying that happens here? You're from North London. They party there too. But the weather's crap. I couldn't do it full time. I mean, a week a week would be good for me. Um, who are some of the artists that you've seen this week that you like? I like all the stuff I've seen in here, obviously. I was here Monday night checking it out. We come again last night. Is all your stuff as colorful as this Ferrari? Or what's your inspiration for your art? It's completely different to that, actually. But that's the stuff that I usually do. But recently, we've been trying to mix the two together. What an inspiration that guy is. For more information on how to get your hands on Ben's work, you can go to BenLevyArt.com. And you can also follow him on Twitter and Instagram at, at @BenLevyArt. For VIP TV, I'm Kavita Shanae, and we'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Ben Levy. Welcome to my show in Miami. Follow me on Instagram. You're watching VIP TV.